Hi everybody, it is October 1915 on the Eastern Front and it's raining and the ground has turned into a soggy quagmire which is really slowing down everything. So, up here where we see the Russians are all dug in, the Germans are still trying to come to grips with them. They can't even get there yet because the, the weather has turned to mud so everything's slowed down, supply lines have slowed down. So they are having a problem getting anywhere on the Eastern Front. So it's going to take them forever to get to where they need to go. So that is the biggest problem they're having right now. The Austrians are like, oh, we can't even go anywhere. Over here, they tried to attack Odessa. The troops are pretty much demoralized. They did rail some new units in to there. And, well, they are stuck on the train. Well, I guess they did... Untrained. They do have enough movement to get off the train, but they can't move anywhere. So that is the biggest problem. Over here, down in Bulgaria, the Bulgarians, after having their uh, butts handed to them, have fallen back to their city right here. And next turn, they probably plan on digging in. And it just depends on what the uh, British decide to do. Uh, right at the moment, like one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, they are kind of stuck at the moment, I guess. Their supply lines, they are at the extent of their supply lines where they're sitting. So the Brits have a choice. They can hang out where they're at or fall back and maybe go after Constantinople. They do have a new movement with some of their troops to get to Constantinople, so it's going to be an interesting thing to see what happens. And uh, other than that, that is pretty much it. That's uh, the Austrians do have some troops parked over here in Serbia and debating whether to move them across the line. Rail, I guess they could rail them over to Sofia and then move them down there to help out the Bulgarians. But at the moment, uh, you know, they decide, yeah, hey, you guys can handle things yourself. Probably because they know that the what the weather. The British are going to have some problems at the moment, but, you know, they are sort of taking over things down here. And that's the full extent of what happened. There wasn't any combat for this first time in forever. There is no combat in Europe. The weather has slowed things down. With the Russians deciding to fall back and let the terrain be their defense for the moment, and it's working in their favor. So, but that is allowing the Germans to build up their forces again. But it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be hard to get them to the front. To come in grips with their enemy. Same thing with the Austrians. But the Austrians are being stretched out thin. Because that's a lot of territory to cover. And they really don't have the armies to do it. So we're going to find out what's going to happen here. They may have to ask the Germans for help down south. We'll be back. Hey everybody, it's October 1915. Allies turn in Russia. Well, over here they have dug in. They got their defensive line protecting St. Petersburg. They did get some reinforcements, which they planted right here. And they probably plan on digging them in. It's not really a really good defense against all that. But, you know, they got to do what they can. Over here, they put a little bit of defense up here against the Austrians, which probably might be enough against the Austrians. Over here, they decided to sally forth out of here. where They had their defenses up. And they did do an attack. And they demoralized this Austrian unit right there, that army group which is now falling back and over here now there's nothing happened there now the interesting thing that happened was that the Brits are not messing around unfortunately right here that's the most they can advance they didn't want to attack across the river attack this unit that's there and attacking across the river is not a really good thing now one thing i forgot all about where the demarcation line was uh, you'll see this little line right here and it moves along uh, across over here that is where the eastern front demarcation line 
So everybody else down here is in fair weather. This is clear weather. So they got to move things a little bit better down here. Oh, you're noticing something different. Oh, Constantinople now belongs to the British. They took it. They marched in and crushed the units that were there. They were, some of the, most of the troops in there were demoralized already. So it was, and the uh, Ottomans did put a unit in there, but the defense was so weak that the British unit that was right here, they marched across and just hammered them and took them out. So now it's almost to the point now we got uh, two of the major cities for the Ottomans is gone. They do have Damascus, but we can't take Damascus really. Uh, I think they the it says you have to take all their cities. So there is two, three cities left right here. I think if well actually this one's gone already. They marched through there, but uh, it's not a major city, so they don't have to worry about garrisoning it. Uh, they. I think if the Brits take this city and that city, the Ottomans are out of the war. They may already be out of the war because it's kind of iffy. It's, you know, I'm just going off of what the Serbians, because the Serbs had one major city and several. You know, they had this city and this city. If you lose, they lost those three, then they were out of the war. So I'm assuming it's the same thing where the, you have to take this city and this city yet from the uh, Ottomans and they'll be kicked out of the war. So it may be that the Ottomans may be gone pretty quick because well uh, they're gonna have to pull start pulling troops out of these boxes to start defending over here and well you know, that's about the only thing they can do and uh, it's looking really bad down here so I think the Austrians are not really sure what to do you know they're spread out so thin they're probably gonna be screaming at their German friends that are busy all the way up there with their massive armies, so they may have to start pulling troops out of either France or off the Eastern Front to bring them down to the Southern Front. You know, everybody's dragging them down. The Brits are not giving in. They looked for a place where they could find a weak spot, and I think they did. Turkey. So they might be losing it. And if they get the supply line running up and running, if they get this rail line connected, I think up to here... It won't be long before Bulgaria is going to find itself losing its cities. Because the Brits are not messing around up there. Alright, we'll be back.